Picture this, a lecture hall filled with eager minds wanting to soak up the wisdom of a thought leader, Dr. John Peterson, the topic, the complex dance of our fantasies, the unknown and the very nature of our relationships. But this is not just a lecture, this is a journey, a story of our perceptions, ideals and the conflicts they often run into. Today we will explore the intricacies of the mind, the subconscious realm and the transformational power of understanding and growth. It's with our fantasy that we first meet the unknown, right? Well, look, say you're going out with a new person. It's like, what do you do? You project a fantasy on them and then you fall in love with the fantasy. And aren't you stupid? Because you're going to find out that the match between your damn fantasy and the actual person is tenuous at best. And so Jung would call that a, a projection of either the anima or the animus. You know, the anima is what a man projects onto a woman he finds desirable. It's like, oh, she's the perfect woman. It's like, well, how do you know that? You've like seen her for four seconds, you know, but it grips you. And the same thing happens in the opposite direction. And it's an action of instinct, you know. It's like you fall in love with the image. And, but interestingly enough, what you do in a relationship that works is that you actually, I think that what you see, it's a rough approximation, when you project the ideal and fall in love with it, you see what could be. It could be that, but it's going to take you a hell of a lot of work because, like, you got no shortage of flaws, and the other person has no shortage of flaws, and so you're bringing your flaws together, and that's going to produce a lot of friction, and you're going to have to engage in a lot of dialogue before you approach that level of perfection again, but maybe you can do it. Then you get to live happily ever after. Well, wouldn't that be nice? He likens new relationships to projecting a movie reel of our fantasies onto the person in front of us. Ever wondered why we see someone new and think they are the one within moments? Peterson unravels this by referencing Carl Jung's concept of anima and animus, indicating how our projections can sometimes be our undoing. He also emphasizes the hard work that goes into making a relationship work. The lesson here, fantasies are only the starting point. Building a genuine relationship requires facing flaws, communication and commitment. Edison talks about the stepwise process of understanding, asserting that it's not a singular leap but a dance between theory and imagination. We are asked to think of the last time we hypnotized or wondered about something. Drawing the line between scientific theory and our unconscious trying to make sense of the world. How our subconscious communicates with us. He hints at the boundless creativity some possess, suggesting that engaging in creative pursuits can be the antidote to the suffocating self-criticism that plagues some. Sharing clinical experiences, Peterson gives a window into the profound nature of dreams and their impact. The message sometimes facing our fears and confronting them can be the key to personal growth and overcoming trauma. Peterson concludes with a powerful narrative of facing mortality head-on. His story of visiting a funeral parlor underscores how humans can adopt, cope and even thrive in the face of the unknown, the terrifying and the tragic. And finally the conclusion. Dr. Jordan Peterson's talks isn't merely an academic lecture, it's an exploration of the human psyche through the lens of relationships dreams and the confrontations we face. Peterson challenges us to consider our projections, our fantasies and how we engage with the unknown. It reminds us that as much as we dream, theorize and fantasize, there's work to be done in reality to bridge the gaps, to face our fears and to grow. Peterson encourages us to embrace our unconscious, to find strength in creativity and to be brave enough to face even the darkest corners of existence. Life with its intricacies is a dance of understanding, imagination and reality. And as we navigate through it, perhaps the most significant realization is recognizing the expansive potential within us, the potential to face, to grow and to transcend.